So I have a confession to make. I was going to take a picture of my hair after, you know, going downtown on the bus with curlers in my hair. And I really, really meant to. But one, I forgot. And two, I put too much hair on each roller and did too few of them because I wanted bigger curls. But I should have done a few more because my hair was wet when I took it all out. But it was okay. It was like not not wet, wet, just like really damp. And it worked out in the end. Like I was able to go on stage properly. But still, you're gonna want to do more with less hair on each roller so that they'll actually dry properly eventually. Just a tip. While we're on tips, if you ever get a pair of really epic stud-covered shoes like this, please reinforce the studs because I've already lost one forever. Well, not forever because I can just match it and get it at the craft store and put one on, but you know, it's a pain. It's a pain to have stuff falling off your shoes, especially when they're as awesome as these. I love these shoes. What you're going to want to do is take your chain nose pliers and then just go in the back and squish the prongs, squish the prongs in. Even though it is covered in the back, you're going to still want to do this because they'll pop off. They're not put in as strongly as they could be, so just do it and you will be thankful. Today's project is a t-shirt tutorial and we're going to be using this shirt which is quite big. Remember my friend Liam from last week's video? Oh hey! Yeah. This was his band when he was 16 and I bought this on the night of their final concert. This band no longer exists anymore and I'd like to wear it again because it's kind of indie. What we're going to do is I'm going to follow initial pattern posted by Closet Control. I'll put a link in, in the down bar. I guess that's what you call it now. So what we're going to do is cut off the sides and the bottom to about, about here and use this as string to lace up the sides. And then I'm going to do some sort of um, some like mock crocheting on here. I'm going to do a little cut out pattern of diamonds on the shoulders here. Um, but first we have to do the basic pattern. This project's going to be really long. I apologize, but it's going to be fun. Here's what you're going to need. A big t-shirt, a meter stick, a rotary cutter and or scissors with really sharp pointy points, a sewer's chalk or a sewer's pencil, or since I have neither, a white pencil crayon, and a cutting mat. So I'm going to start by doing the basic form of the t-shirt. You can follow that on the link that I've put, and then I'll come back and show you how to do the mock crochet sides on the shoulders. Here is the basic shirt. I've laced up the sides and tailored it to my body, um, which is what you should do with yours as well. And I've already started putting my own touches on it. I've cut out the neck, just to give it like a scoop neck. There. So what we're going to do next is, um, like you know those tops that have like the crochet all over the shoulders, and on the back we're going to do sort of a mock crochet pattern, like cutouts with little diamonds. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is draw lines where the straps start, and align where we want the pattern to stop in the back. And then we're going to have to measure out the pattern, which is what we need the meter stick for. And that is going to be very precise and very awesomely amusing. You can tell I'm being sarcastic, can't you? I'm just going to switch camera angles and then we're going to get started with the white pencil and the meter stick. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this kind of idea. I'm just going to tie here um, once I've cut the neckline down a little because it's a bit it's a bit too constricting right now and I think it would look better if there was that extra fabric cut out. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll show you the final product. Last thing to do, take off the extra string. And here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, whatever you want. I would love to hear from you as always. Have a great weekend.